Hey, welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at the difference between MXM, MXAC, and UISP LTU. We published a blog post earlier this week going over all the differences between these three platforms that are used for point to point and point to multi point applications. So, all three platforms are still on sale from Ubiquity, even the older MXM. So, we're going to look, look at what the difference is between them. So, if you go on store.ui.com, there's the wireless tab under UISP, and you can see they've got the Something like the Air Max Rocket Prism 5AC, that's part of the Air Max AC family. Uh, we've also got the Nanobeam AC, uh, one of the stations you can use. And then if you scroll down, we've also got uh, this Lightbeam M5, which is part of the older M5 platform. And then if we go across to Air Max 2.4, again we've got two AC devices, which are still part of Air Max AC. And then we've also got LTU 5 gigahertz. So and there's some devices in here which are used for uh, that platform. So Air Max M came out about 10 years ago. Uh, that's pretty much the oldest point to multi point platform that Ubiquiti is offering that is still on sale. Uh, so it came out about 2013, maybe even before then. Uh, and it's really focused now on sort of getting cost effective devices. So actually they're only really selling one device. And that's the Lightbeam M5. There used to be some nanostation M2 devices in here, but they're they're still they're not being sold for some strange reason. And that that platform is good for about 100 megabits per second. Uh, as you can see, this one's quite cheap, it's about 49 dollars. It's a lot cheaper than other devices. So you have got the 5AC Loca, which is a very short range device, uh, and this is quite a long range device. Typically, if you're on a very strict budget, and that's the only reason you'd actually end up going for the M5 devices, they're pretty much coming to the end of life. Uh, as I said, 100 megabits ports. That's all they can do. Uh, there are some devices that are out there, like the M5 Powerbeam, which sometimes had a gigabit port, so your mileage may vary with that. Uh, but it is an old platform. AeroS 6 is the software that runs on those devices. Uh, the updates are pretty few and far between at this point, um, but at the moment we wouldn't recommend picking up one of those devices unless you've got a specific need. Uh, so we published a video a few weeks ago uh, going over how to set up a Nanostation M2 as a Wi-Fi access points. So you can actually turn off the the TDMA Air Max on those devices and use those as standalone Wi-Fi access points. That's quite a specialist use case, uh, so we wouldn't actually recommend purchasing Air Max M devices for any dedicated point-to-point -point links at this stage. So that's that's one they still offer. Again, there are loads of applications to which that's useful. So in um, I think Mexico, for example, they've got a lot of a lot of those devices still. So and also other other places like that. So MX AC is the sort of the newest Air Max platform that's actually available at the moment. Um, it's been out for about seven or eight years, and it actually used to run AeroS seven, and it now runs AeroS eight. AeroS eight came out in about 2016, and it offered com backwards compatibility between MX AC and MX M. So at the time, you could uh, enable backwards compatibility. I think it was mixed mode. That's what it was called, uh, and you could connect if you wanted M devices and AC devices. Uh, now, nowadays, with ver newer versions of AOS 8, that backwards compatibility is now built into the OS, so you don't have to worry about setting a mode and, and changing it. So MX AC has both 2AC and 5AC devices, so 5 GHz and 2 GHz devices. And then those 2 GHz devices, which we looked at, do have backwards compatibility with M2 devices, which is quite nice. Uh, I've used that a few times myself, and it's quite a cool feature. Again, there's three devices, Powerbeam 2AC, Nanobeam 2AC and then the Rocket Prism 2AC. So this Prism device has the filtering for noise. Air Max AC, uh, there's, a, there's an upcoming Air Max AX, so a, in sort of a next generation of Air Max coming soon. And for what I understand, that has that has uh, compatibility between uh, Air Max AC and Air Max AX. So that's based on Wi-Fi 6. So it'd be interesting to see when that comes out. Uh, again, it's still a very, very uh, popular platform. I wouldn't I would not recommend using it. A lot of uh, new devices released recently, so you've got these long-range light beams that were released. And there's an there's a extreme version of this, I think. Uh, so these, there are some new devices that have been released. This Light AP GPS was released in the last few years, so it's not going away anytime soon. The uh, one I wouldn't recommend is MX M at this point. The newer version, so UISP LTU, was released, I think, 2018, 2017. It was it was dubbed as their sort of next generation technology platform for Wisps. So just for some context. MX M and MX AC and probably MX AX use 802.11 Wi-Fi as the underlying technology behind it. 
uh, and there's some software on top, TDMA, uh, that's what Air Max is, sort of timing protocols. And there's still some limitations with that. Uh, so Ubiquiti design their own custom chips and hardware to achieve much higher performance than AC. Uh, and for this specific reason, LTU is not going to be compatible with M or AC devices. Uh, the devices are just too different. So you got for the devices you can buy, you've got uh, the LTU Rocket, which we looked at on the channel recently. Uh, you also got the LTU Lite, the LTU Instant, the Pro, the Long Range, and then the XR, which is the Extreme Range. At the moment, there isn't a drop-in replacement for the Power Beam, which is uh, something that people have been asking for. You can just get these uh, Instant devices. Uh, which you can just drop into your existing LTU uh, or sorry uh, light beam devices. For Wisp, it might not be a viable option. You've got to train techs on the new devices. You've got to stock another device in the warehouse. Uh, but if you're looking for a, if you're starting your own Wisp or you're looking to upgrade certain areas, definitely look at UIS PLTU. The performance is way way above what Air Max AC can do. Uh, you've got bigger channel widths. You've got a lot more uh, capacity to play with. And there's this, there's lots of special features that you just couldn't do with 82.11. So you can have split channels. You can have uh, an RX and TX frequency set. So if you've got a noisy environment at the AP, you can choose a different frequency for the downlink connections and prioritize that. Uh, very, very advanced stuff. It's very cool what they're doing. Uh, but if you're just a casual point-to-point -point user, this LTE platform is it would just be a waste of money doing a point-to-point -point with these devices because the LT light can't do it. It's just a station at this stage anyway. If you're looking for just a point-to-point -point between buildings or uh, businesses or uh, CCTV, that sort of thing, pick up Air Max a AC. The nanostation AC is probably the most flexible and most versatile device that they've got on sale. It can be powered by both 24 volts and 48 volts. So it's the only, it's the only Air Max device that is powered by both uh, auto sensing and 24 volts, which is really cool. And the fact it's got two two Ethernet ports, you can fan out whatever the device is powered from. So, for example, if you've got a CCTV camera, a uh, unified protect camera, and it requires AF PoE, we'll just power the nanostation with AF PoE, and then whatever comes out that second port is going to be whatever the nanostation is powered from. Same with 24 volts, which is awesome. But yeah, the nanostation AC Loco costs about 100 quid, and it's, at the time of writing, LTU light cannot be used like this. Hopefully it's been a helpful look at what the difference is between MXM, MX AC, and the newer UISP LTU. If you want to know more about what Hostify does, have a look at Hostify.com. We do hosting for UISP, Unify, and also TP-Link Armada. If you're stuck with any questions or you want some help setting something up, uh, we've got a dedicated team under Hostify Pro, um, so our, our guys can help you do any configuration you're looking to do with Ubiquiti hardware or even some non-Ubiquiti stuff. If you've got a server with us and you've got some questions, contact the team at support at hostify.com uh, and they can get you, get you up and running if you've got any problems. And then finally, you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Follow for updates and, and news from the company. It's, uh, there's always some good stuff on there. My name's been Alex. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.